There are some fractions which show nice periods. Simple ones. More interesting ones, like this, which resembles a power of two sequence. Or this weird one where there seems to be an incrementing sequence with all possible three digit numbers. It's very tempting to assume that this sequence continues endlessly. But it's already known that it lacks one number, the 998. Nevertheless a standard pocket calculator won't help much to check this, even if it provides 32 digits like this one. Unfortunately, since we have to expect 1003 digit numbers, we would need more than 3000, or better 6000 digits for two periods, to check this. To handle such long fractions, one can of course use special programs or code something from scratch. But you may ask, is there a simpler way? Luckily IBM developed the 1401 computer as a machine with a variable word length. This means that data in the 1401 doesn't have a defined number of characters and digits. Instead the programmer had to tell the machine where a data field begins and ends. And if desired, one single value could span the whole memory. A data field is defined by the address of its unit position. And the length is normally defined by a so-called word mark, which can be set by the programmer. So for the 1401 it's one of the easiest tasks to handle long numbers. And those 6000 digits or more should be no problem. Unfortunately, the 1401 only has fixed integer BCD, but no floating point number format. But that's not relevant for our calculation. By simply shifting the dividend to the left and figuring out where the decimal point has to go, a kind of fractional part can be simulated. For example 1 over 3 would normally result in 0 in an integer environment. But it could be calculated by evaluating for example, 1 billion over 3, resulting in 333 million and so on. By virtually putting the decimal point to the correct place, we get 0.333 and so on. For our problem, we do the same here by using a dividend starting with the digit 1 and having about 6100 following zeros. In the 1401 it's a bit tricky to set up the buffer for a division. The required length is the length of the divisor plus 1 plus length of dividend. The buffer should be filled with zeros. There's no word mark needed for the division itself, but the rightmost digit must have the sign bit set, even if it's positive, so that the processor can detect the right end. The division must start at the first digit of the dividend. To fill the buffer with a 1 with more than 6000 zeros, I'll use a trick. I'll set a word mark at the beginning and use a 0 and add command to fill the whole buffer with zeros. Then move a single 1 digit to the correct position. The division can then be issued on this part. When ready, the quotient can be found beginning at the left. The result then can be printed by copying subsequent parts of the result to the print buffer until the last desired address is reached. This is the resulting autocoder program. Definition of the 0 and 1 value to fill the buffer. The start of the buffer where the word mark will go. The end of the buffer where the filling with 0 starts. The last address for the print loop. We fill the buffer with zeros and the single 1. Execute the division of the dividend in the buffer by the divisor. Move the result part by part to the print buffer until the last address is reached. When printing, I used an increment of 99, which is an integer multiple of 3, to keep the three digit numbers vertically aligned. Let's punch the program.
I've already mounted the autocoder tapes, so we could start translating it into loadable machine language and punch the translation result into new cards. And here are the resulting cards that can be used to load and start the program. The resulting cards can now be put into the card reader again. And by hitting load, the program gets loaded and executed. Here's the result, and here's the confirmation that indeed 998 is missing. Here in the first period, and also here in the second period. If your own 1401 currently is defective or occupied, you may of course use a PC as a temporary workaround, 
for example by using Erlang. Create a really big number with many many digits. And divide it. The result is similar, but less cool.